I'm here to share with you my entrepreneurial journey, and hopefully it will inspire you, and maybe your friends, your neighbor, your son, your daughter. Uh, someday, uh, maybe start your own business or build your dream or get to the goal where you want to be in life. Forbes uh, statistic said uh, at the beginning of the year said that about 90% of startup or business fail. There's about the other 10% that really make it. And uh, hopefully, I will give you some tip today how to be in that 10%. But first, let me wake you up and ask you. Uh, how many of out, you out here would like to start your business someday? Or maybe you already own a business? I see a few. Okay, great. How about this? How about be your own boss, work the hours you want, take vacation any times you want, <laughs> and uh, be financially independent, and be a TEDx speaker one day? How's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I see a lot of you. Great. <laughs> so, like I said, there are... You know, that 10% that started the business, uh, there are also there's two groups or maybe more groups in that uh, set of the 10%. Uh, you probably heard a lot of story about the, uh, you know, the people who quit college and started a business and raise a lot of money and be billionaires, and you heard a lot of those names I don't need to mention. But those are the reckless, abandoned type. You know, they're really great. You know, there are very few genius in us, and probably maybe a few in this room as well, that just got started and have that great idea, and they get on their path, and they're very successful. But that's a very, very few. What about the rest of us? What about you and me? You know, the regular people who go to college, got a degree, go to work. How do we do it? How do we build our dream? So. I'm here to tell you that you can build your dream over time. Uh, and there is you know, a way to do that. So in the beginning, that's me. I was, I'm an immigrant in Vietnam. That's my mom. I'm on the background there on, on the top of that boat. I had to uh, force to I quit school very early, live on the boat, that the boat that we left Vietnam with, and ended up in the um, refugee camp, and eventually, you know, I made it to Canada. You know, Canada or U.S., this is the land of opportunity. There's so much that we can do together as an individual. Just opportunity is tremendous. Um, so when I came there, you know, being helped by a lot of, you know, the Canadian people and things like that. But there's, you know, I was zero at the time, just like a lot of us here. You know, you started college, you zero, right? You, you have to start your build career and you start to work your way up. But there was two things that go on for me. One was the dream to start my own business one day. And second was the a belief that if I put enough time into learning something, I can be good at it. Just take a little bit of a time and just do it. I just remember when I was a little kid and you know I don't have any toy. I like to have a toy car. You just go down you know, in the backyard, cut a tree, cut a piece of wood, and make it into a car. So if you learn it enough, or if you learn, or if you persevere, and you, mean you persevere enough, you can do it. And you know, that was my attitude. I had a dream, and I have a, uh, a belief. A belief is much stronger than being confident that you have ability to do something. A belief. You have to have a belief and that dream. And that was my beginning. So I put myself through college, doing a lot of odd jobs. You know that you go to Walmart and pick, a, you know, pay for a couple of bucks of a can of worms to go fishing with? I was the worm picker on the golf course, putting those boxes to sell for a couple of bucks. That was one of my jobs. And now that I play on the golf courses with a lot of the CEO, they didn't know that I can tell their divot from the wormholes. <laughs> but, Anyway, nobody ever knew. Now you know, so keep that secret, by the way. So, and so I went through college. I went to University of Waterloo. I chose that university for one reason, because it's a co-op program. I can work and go to school every four months. And I wish there were more of that school in America, and hopefully someday you know, we, can, we can start that generation. Just work four months, go to school four months. That's a great thing that has ever happened to me. So during that time, you know, I wasn't doing really well in school either. You know, I wanted to go electrical engineering, but it's too analog for me. 
Computer engineering was a lot easier. One and zero, you and me, a lot of, for me to understand. I remember one time, I look at my, uh, you know, my ranking, and I was ranked 43 out of 50 in the class. I was just so disappointed in myself. But I kept working at it. My English wasn't very good and all that kind of thing. So I kept working at it, and I went to work, and you know, through my job, I was able to improve myself, understand the material, and then understand the material better. So I was able to graduate computer engineering. I got a job in the, in the US, and uh, so during that time, I actually asked, you know, I, I become a computer memory designer. I design memory for computers. So when I got a job offer to go to the US, uh, my, my wife now sitting in the audience, and my fiance at the time said, let's go to California. She got her brother here, so we, we left. Uh, so we put two boxes on the airplane, and we flew over. But that time, I went from zero to negative 30,000. <laughs> That's our student loan. A lot of you will be the same. You know, you go negative. So you go from zero to negative. Now, how do you dig yourself out of that hole, that warm hole, by the way? But anyway, I was able to dig myself out, work hard. And one thing I think that can really go well for us is this. If you could, if think about it, if you could improve yourself 1% every month, OK? In a year, you improve yourself 10%, right? And in 10 years, you can improve yourself 100%. But whatever you do, keep improving yourself. Now, so when I went and you know, started doing that job, you know, and, and a lot of you know, even my kids or people I met ask about passion. How do you get passionate about something, right? How do you find your passion? How do you find that job that you really like? But you know what? Finding your passion by doing nothing, it's not going to get you there. Or thinking about it, it's not going to get you there. You've got to jump into the job, just do the job. And one thing is you've got to be learned to be the best in that job. Once you be, you're the best in that job, you will be passionate about it. I, I guarantee you. You know, a lot of things that I do, you know, my son liked to play golf. I learned to like golf with him. Or the business, the same thing, you know. It's a hard thing, but I learned it. Tennis, the same thing. He liked to play piano. I learned it, too. We just, just keep learning. Just keep improving yourself all the time. Now, in 10 years, so if you graduate at 22 and 32, you will have be passionate about what you do. And at the same time, you'll be in the best of the world at what you're doing. I did that in six years. At the same time, I did an MBA class at night and got my MBA, become expert in what I do in computer design, uh, uh, computer memory design, storage design and at the same time, passionate at it. OK, so now I arm myself with something, and I'm ready. So in 1997, when I got my green card, that's my ticket to start my business. So I didn't dream up a crazy idea somewhere and go start my own business. I did it based on what I knew best, my expertise, because I knew if I know that, I can do it better than anybody else. And that's how I start. So, if you think of an idea and you are in, you know, in the areas of medical field and you want to start insurance, I mean, or go into insurance, forget, it. you're not going to beat the guy next door. So then, you know, that's what I start with. I start with what I knew best, and I have the confidence that I, I, I'm the best in the world at doing that. And the next thing is pick a big growing market a lot of things that people buy in, but pick a niche within that. You know, in, 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 in the current environment right now. Just look around, see what is growing. What is the thing that people buy a lot of? And pick a niche within that. So what I did was I was a computer memory designer, but everybody was making memory, everybody was buying memory, upgrading the computers and do all that kind of things. But, you know, so large companies like Samsung, Intel, and Toshiba, and all of these companies that are making them and selling them. So how can I be the little me, compete with them, right? I save enough money, start my own. But then at that time, I pick a market that they don't want to be in or they ignore the medical market. So I go and make computer memory for the medical. Then after I master that medical, I go and make computer memory for uh, transportation, then I go into networking, then I go to telecom, just by size check at a time, in you know, um, incremental improvement. And over time, now the business is 
is large, it's in the national, all our customers are, you know, the Fortune 500 in the world. And, you know, we just keep reinvest money into it and keep doing it. And just one by side chunk at a time. So if you like to do, you know, what you do, improve, go do that. And then just pick, sell, you know, if you want to start a sushi restaurant or something, pick a demographic group of people that would like to enjoy it, and then just tack it that. Maybe just doctor. And then eventually you go to lawyer. Eventually you go to entrepreneur like me, whatever. But start like that, okay, small, and just keep doing that. And just make sure you be number one in, in your niche. You have to be the best in the world doing that. And then, you know, pretty soon so you have a successful business, right? Sound easy enough? <laughs> okay, so I will leave you with this. Have a dream, like I said. The other thing is, uh, what did I say? Have a belief that you, if you learn and you stay working at it, you be best at it. And one thing is that, okay, so when you graduate, there's two choices. You can be hired to build other people's dream, or you can be your own dream, okay? Or you can be hired to build other people's dream, but at the same time, Work on it to eventually be your own dream. You will get there. That me on that bridge of the boat, that's a different boat now. <laughs> but you can join me and build your dream. Thank you. <laughs>